with you all. Well, this is a glorious day. It's a wonderful, wonderful day outside, and it's a wonderful day inside. This is a, a celebration of joy for all of us because it means a real step in the inclusion of these children as part of our church. Now for the first time, they will come with us to the table of the Lord to be fed with the body and blood of Christ. Let's ready ourselves now to celebrate the sacred mystery of Christ's living presence in our midst in bread and wine. Let's ask the Lord to be with us. Let's pray. Jesus Christ, we follow in faith the call of your shepherd, whom you have sent for our hope and our strength. Attune our minds to the sound of his voice and lead our steps in the path he has shown, that we may know the strength of his outstretched arms and enjoy the light of your presence forever. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, My sheep know my voice, and I know them. They follow me, and I give them eternal life so that they will never be lost. No one can snatch them out of my hand. My Father gave them to me, and he is greater than all others. No one can snatch them from his hands, and I am one with the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. I think that all our life long, from the time that we begin to know God until the time that we breathe our last breath, the work of our lives as faithful people is getting to know God. Getting to know God. We meet God 
first, I think, by hearing about God, we, we hear other people talk about what they know about God. And then, somewhere along the line, we meet God. Now, it's not as if we're able to just shake hands with God, but we come to know that God is with us in some special signs. And this Eucharist that we're about to receive today is one of the most special ways in which Jesus is with us. We believe that in the sign of bread, Jesus is with us to be our food. We believe that in the sign of a cup, Jesus is with us to be our drink. We speak of these signs as the body and the blood of Christ. The body means Jesus himself. The blood means Jesus, his life. And so as we receive these sacred signs, we receive Jesus and his life is nourished in us, strengthened in us. The life of Jesus is the life of God, a life that cares for us. God reaches out to us like a shepherd caring for sheep. God speaks to us the way a shepherd calls his sheep, calls us each by name, calls Michael, calls Tanya, calls Zachary, calls Nicole, calls Megan, calls each one of us. God calls us and he calls us into a family where we can care for one another, where we can look after each other when we're in need. All of that is the meaning of what we do here today. It's a way for us to meet God. It's not the last time you'll do this, not the last time you'll receive communion, and certainly not the last time that you will meet God. It's a most important thing that we do here because it's a real important step as we go along the way of our lives getting to know God. We're going to stand now, if you will.
by these Easter mysteries, may the continuing work of our Redeemer bring us eternal joy. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, it is right for us always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. We praise you with greater joy than ever in this Easter season when Christ became our Paschal sacrifice. Lord, God of power, God of might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. For us, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. He gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. And Christ will come again. of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen.
May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon us and stay with us forever. Let's go now to live in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.